Well, the holiday season is a whole different world when it comes to waste and recycling, mainly because there's just so much more of it. And how do you prep and what do you do in the aftermath? That is our topic today with Nicole Watt, Waste Diversion Education Coordinator for Halton Waste. Nicole, welcome back. Thank you very much. It is absolutely a pleasure to be back here with you one more time. I love this. Well, I think everyone needs your help around the holidays and maybe even before the holidays. So before we get to the the craziness that transpires with wrapping paper, what are some thoughts that you guys at Halt and Waste have about prepping for the occasion, maybe a little bit more uh, sustainability and thinking ahead with gifts? Absolutely. So it comes right down to buying the gifts. You know, put those environmental lens on. When you're out there shopping, you know, thinking about waste management as you're purchasing those gifts. And the very first thing I always tell people is try and buy experiences. You know, especially here in Halton region, we have so many great local events. We have, you know, theaters, we have concert halls, all of that great stuff. Buying those experiences is, of course, going to reduce how much waste you're bringing into the holiday season. And, you know, it even goes right down to when you are out shopping bring your reusable shopping bag. You know, sometimes we forget to bring those bags into the mall. We kind of have it in our heads when we go grocery shopping, we bring those reusable bags. But when we're going into the mall, we sometimes forget. So, you know, have the couple bags available in your purse or in your backpack, whatever it might be, have those reusable bags available. And then be conscious, or I like to say, be a smart consumer. So when you are buying items for friends and family, you know, you're looking at items that are in recyclable packaging. So when, of course, you open up the gift, that package can now go into the recycling. You're buying things that are made from products that are sustainable. You know, you're buying a shirt that's made from 30% recycled plastic bottles, or it's a, a company that is very environmentally conscious. You know, these are some really great tactics that you can use when you're out there buying the gifts. And, you know, the more we do this, the more we're going to see it on the store shelves, right? So that's probably one of my my favorite things I always talk about is that there's a lot we can do before Christmas even or those holiday seasons even start. Well, we can definitely control what we're buying, but we can't control what we're getting. So, you know, the gifts come into the house and all of a sudden they're open and you're on the day of and there's a lot of wrapping paper and a lot of twine and what are recommendations for how to best deal with all of this so it doesn't all just end up in a landfill? Absolutely. So be prepared, you know, have your bins available, right? I always tell people whether you're opening gifts or you're just hosting a holiday dinner, get a waste setup station. So you've got your garbage, your blue box and your green cart. It's all out. It's available. You know, if you have people from out of town, maybe even have kids in the house, you can make little signs as to what goes where so that there's no confusion as the day is going on or you don't feel the need to dig through your garbage at the end of the day because you're finding things that shouldn't belong. So it's always a great idea that, you know, throughout the holidays to have just those bins ready and available so that you can sort appropriately. That's great. So generally, what are the rules, though? Because I know wrapping paper, if it's full on paper, I'm guessing it can just go into the recycle bin. But there's also, you know, wrapping paper, some of it has foil on of it. There's, you know, there's there's bows, there's twine. I, I don't think that there's an answer to this one aside from the garbage, unless maybe there's a reuse of a nice bow. But that is there anything else we can do? Yeah, so I'm glad you mentioned gift wrap because any sort of wrapping paper when you're here in Halton is a garbage item. Oh. You know, yeah, so it doesn't matter what the paper is made out of. There's just so much out there and there's so much variance in the type of wrapping paper that all of it is deemed garbage. So of course there's the better options and I'm always going to talk about the better options is you know using those reusable gift bags. You mentioned the reusable bows. Um, there's even some really great fabric products out there that is a reusable wrapping paper. You know, it, it's, you know, almost like a blanket that you're folding your presents up with and you can reuse it year after year. It's, of course, the fabric is very holiday related. It's really great stuff. So, yeah, if you've got the wrapping paper, unfortunately, it is garbage. But another great tip is you can actually use tissue paper to wrap up your presents as long as the tissue paper is plain. So there's no glitter or anything else kind of embedded in it. Tissue paper can actually go into the green cart for composting. All right. Well, there you go. Tissue paper is an option. Now, the last thing I want to touch on before we go is a lot of people still do the real tree. It's going to leave needles all over the house, but it's going to make the house smell nice for about a month. Um, what to do with that tree when we say bye-bye in January? 
Absolutely. So first and foremost, take all those lights off. Make sure double check the decorations have been removed. If you've, you've used anything like tinsel or garland, making sure it's completely off that tree. You've removed the star. It's amazing how many people forget that top little ornament because it's at the very top. So making sure everything is removed, including the tree stand, and you're going to place it out uh, the second and third week of January. We do have a, a special Christmas tree collection. So you're going to put it out on your scheduled collection day. Uh, when you are placing it out, of course, you've double checked, making sure there's nothing on there. But just make sure you're not putting it on any tall or high snow banks, making it a little bit easier and more accessible for the waste collectors. And again, just go online, check your waste collection calendar, make sure you're putting the tree out on the right day. And of course, you can even check your print calendar because it will be coming in the mail at the end of December. That's great. All right, Nicole. Well, thanks so much for doing this today. And we'll chat with you again in the new year. Great. Thank you so much. Happy holidays and hope everyone had a great holiday season.